Hey guys, this is Cowboy here. Welcome back to this Cowboy's Ride. The other day I shot this nice little buck and uh, I wanted to do something to preserve its head. So uh, back in 1987, I killed my first buck and uh, it cost me over $300 to have that one mounted. So that was just, and now I understand it's like five or $600. So that's just not something I'm willing to spend money on. So I'm gonna do a European skull mount and uh, this ain't going to be a how-to video. It's going to be just, this is what I'm doing in my life, and this is my ride. So uh, I'll bring y'all back to show y'all the finished product and maybe a little bit in between and uh, to see what's going on. But, hey, y'all, thanks for watching. Okay, I have skinned and uh, cut all the meat and cartilage I could off of the skull. And now I've got it in this pot. It's just going to sit here and simmer in this pot for a couple hours. And we're going to cook a deer head stew that I'm not going to eat. But anyway, we'll do that and that'll help to cook some of that meat and stuff. Fat and cartilage off of the skull to where we can clean on it some more. I ended up losing my camera daughter for the rest of this video. So I wasn't able to get a uh, video of everything else I did. Uh, but practically I let this thing sit in, this head sit in the pot and simmer for about two hours. And then I took it to a pressure washer and pressure washed all of the skin and the meat I could off. I had to go back and put it back in the pot after that. I changed the water, added some Dawn dishwashing detergent and, uh, put it back in there and let it simmer for about another hour and a half after that. Once I did that, I took it and I pressure washed it again and everything came off. I was very impressed with how easy it was. Now, y'all can look at the, uh, right around the base of the horns. I had put saran wrap because I had followed some directions on another YouTube video and said to do that to keep the discoloring, the antlers from discoloring or lightening. Uh, I had zero problems with that. So anyway, after I got it all cleaned, I hung it up and let it dry and it's amazing i've not done any type of uh, whitening to the skull once it dried it dried a magnificent magnificent white as far as i was concerned and uh, i was very happy with it so uh actually this is as far as i think i'm going to go with it this is going to be my finished product it i spent about six hours on it in all between skinning it out uh cleaning it up boiling it pressure washing it, and just letting it dry. So, hey, this is easy. Anybody can do it that's, you know, that's wanting something like this. And there's no sense paying a person to do it if you got the little bit of equipment it takes to do it. So, hey, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it a whole lot. And y'all come back and uh, we'll do something else a little later. Have a good day.